Alright everyone, we are back with Pokemon Omega Ruby from JT Magic Man. JT, take it away. Alright, g'day everyone, welcome to Pokemon Omega Ruby. I'm JT Magic Man. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to count down from free and get into the run, then we'll uh, do some more commentary along the way. Alright, uh, that is not where we start, so uh, already a JT uh, menu moment there. <laughs> but yeah, I'll... I'll uh, Alright, in free. Two, one, go. All right. Everybody, welcome to Pokemon Omega Ruby. Um, this is a remake of the original Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire uh, were released for the 3DS in 2014, but can also be played on the new 3DS and the 2DS. Um, the version differences. So Omega Ruby is more consistent, but Alpha Sapphire can, can, could be faster, so... In a marathon setting, we want to go safe though, and Omega Ruby is definitely the safer option of the two. So you'll see me at the start here pick the girl. Uh, there is a reason for it. So picking the girl makes the second rival fight a little easier due to the Grovile having a minus special defense nature, making it slightly faster than picking the boy. Um. <laughs> yeah, so that uh, we're going to name our trying to name one character. The reason why I didn't put it up as a donation incentive is just in case we don't get a runnable Mudkip. I'll go into that when we get started. Um, I have a backup cartridge ready to go just in case because Mudkip resets can be really brutal. Alright, so here we go. So one character line. Make sure I choose the girl here. J for JT Magic Man, of course. And then just saying, oh yeah, you're the one that's moving to the Little Root. So the introduction of this game is a little bit drawn out. It takes about five minutes to get uh, to the actual starter. So there is plenty of downtime here uh, in, the, in the meantime. All right, first thing we're going to do is when we spawn into the overworld is I'm going to set my options to L equals A. Uh, it makes it easy to, text, uh, to mash through the text. It goes from eight characters per frame instead of four. Um, so that's the reason why we do it. So if you hear me mashing in the background, I apologize about that in advance, but there's not much I can do about that. <laughs> so yeah, we're officially in the Horn region. Nice little moving truck sequence here. And this is where your mum greets you and tells you to move your stuff. Yeah, there's really uh, not too much going on in the first five minutes, so we're just kind of chilling and get the Machokes helping us move our stuff. But yeah, I'll be mashing, uh, I'll be holding L, because L equals A, mashing B and A, and also touching the, the, uh, the bottom screen to make the text go as fast as possible. Alright, in this area now we go set the time. So the time is actually set to the DS clock. Um, I forgot to mention that I have set it to a special day. It is actually Valentine's Day, the 14th of February 2017. This is to make sure that we don't get rain on the Weather Institute route. So that's not for another probably hour and a half, and I'll mention it again when we get there, but uh, there is a reason why I'm playing on this certain date, to save the rain text in that rival fight. It's a very small optimization there. Alright, this is where we look at the TV and Dad's on TV and then we just miss him and then Mum tells us to go next door and visit the rival. Uh, this is the rival's mum. Rival's just like, oh, he's upstairs. And we go and introduce ourselves to our rival or our friend in this game. I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, because sometimes we just smash through text, but I think it's a rival in this game, I want to say. Yeah. and we're about a minute away from getting a Mudkip. So I'm going to explain what we need for a Mudkip. So the minimum stats I would like is 13 attack, 10 special, and 9 speed. In some cases, you can take 12 attack, uh, but obviously the better stats, the better chance that we have of completing the run. Now, getting a runnable Mudkip itself can be pretty brutal sometimes. I think it's around about a 40% chance you actually get a... Uh, 
a runnable mudkip. Um, so for this reason, I'm going to save in front of the mud, uh, mudkip bag and try twice to get a mudkip. If we don't get one that's a runnable, I'm going to load up my backup cartridge because it can take, uh, no joke, it can take hours sometimes to get a mudkip and we don't have hours in this run. We've only got three and a bit hours and I don't want to spend one hour uh, resetting for a mudkip. So here we go. First mudkip off the block. Will this be the one? Like I said, we're looking for 13 attack, 10 special, 10 speed minimum. We can take 9 speed and we can take 12 attack, but what do we got? We got an absolute garbage one. Alright, that's fine. We'll try it one more time, and if we don't get it, I'll load up my backup cartridge. <laughs> that was not a good one. Alright, this is it, what? though. While you're hunting down the perfect mud kit, uh, do we have time for a quick donation? Absolutely, perfect time. Awesome. We have twenty dollars from Rikon Gaming AU. Fantastic event this year. Happy to be watching from the sidelines. Please put this towards Grudon's name being moist, so everyone better get donations in unless they want to hear that word over oh and over again for the next run. If you want the Grudon's name to be anything other than moist, type exclamation mark donate into the chat and just follow that link. Currently, Moist is in the lead with $20. Bluey and Hector are both tied at $15. And also, for Latios's name, Hector and Latias are currently fighting it out at $40 and $50, respectively. All right, while that was going on, we actually got a runnable mudkip. Um, it is barely passable, but it's good enough. We have 13 attack, 10 speed, and no uh, sorry, 10 special and 9 speed, so it's a bare minimum. Pretty much. But this is good enough. We don't have to load up the backup cartridge. Although I will say the backup cartridge mud kit was actually a lot better than this one. But hey, we're going to go with this. <laughs> um, so in this game, we don't actually uh, nickname the mud kit because it is faster not to. Um, because of how the text generates and how fast it goes. Uh, so now the professor is telling us to go to the next route and visit our rival up there. So that's what we'll be doing next. Uh, this, the third tile here in the grass is always a Wurmple, and it's always level, uh, so you always get an encounter here, and it is forced upon you. Not 100% sure the reason why they force an encounter here, but they do it. Uh, they actually do it for all Gen 6 games, it's a little bit weird how they force an encounter like that. But now it's all down to RNG if I get further, uh, encounters. Obviously we don't want any encounters, if we get more encounters it just wastes time. So. The, the less encounters that we have, the better. Um, this person gives you an introduction to Pokemarts, saying there's Pokeballs here, and we get the special promotion of 10 potions, which uh, are really, really handy, as you can imagine. <laughs> it's so true. Yeah, that's true, I guess, Wilson. Alright, and then we're off to go meet our rival up on Route 103. So this is a... F okay, never mind. I got an encounter. I was going to say this is the first rival part, but we got an encounter on the last step. Wingull is not good, because sometimes Wingull can outspeed you. So hopefully we just get to run away from this place. I right, okay, just... Okay, this time then. Alright, thank you, Wingull. So that was a little bit unfortunate there, but not much I could have done. Alright, now this is the rival part. Uh, so the rival always chooses what you're weak to, so... Because we chose a water type in Mudkip, the rival will choose a grass type. And if we choose fire type, the rival will choose um, a water type. So we're up against this Trico and this grass type for the game. Here we go. And this is where I get uh, another indication on my stats. Hopefully we get some decent level up stats. Uh, if we get 9 speed at level 6, it is generally pretty bad, but we can still make it work. Um, this is a lot of things that outspeed you if you don't have good speed stats, so let's hope we get a good level up. Stats, alright, so free tackles. So fun fact, this Trico does actually no absorb, it would just never use it in this in this battle. It's just a weird thing. Alright, so we get level 6. 15 attack, 11 special, and was that 11 speed? I think that was 11 speed? I wasn't 100% certain, but that is a good kip. That's a decent kip. We can work. Maybe we can make this work.
Uh, so our rivals are very generous enough to give us a free heal. In the original games, they do not give you anything. They're just like, yep, you'll be fine. Off you go. <laughs> this game is a lot more friendlier towards, uh, you know, a beginner or someone who wants to get into this. All right, so now we've done that, we've got to go back to the lab and tell the professor that we beat up his son. Uh, sorry. Yeah, his son? It's his son, right? Um... I got I confused myself. <laughs> I think it is his son. Yeah, it's his son, right? Yeah. I can also confirm it was eleven speed. Awesome. That's good then. Alright, so we get the poker decks here. Yeah, this is my boy, blah blah blah. And we get some pokeballs so we can start catching things. Um, we do not actually catch anything in this run until later on, but I won't spoil what it is. We only catch one thing along the run. Alright, so now we attempt to try and leave and our mum's going to stop us saying, you know, you can be the best. Uh, fun fact about this conversation, there is an extra line in the German version, but we are not playing the German version. Uh, she will say, gotta catch them all, but she doesn't say it in this. So, make of that what you wish. <laughs> Alright, then we try and move to the next location and we're going to be stopped for our, by our rival this time. Who says, oh, hey, you can use this nifty thing called the Dex Nav. Now, the Dex Nav is a very, very interesting uh, mechanic in this game. You can get high-level Pokemon uh, if you catch, encounter, or defeat a Pokemon. So, it's not really used that much in the speedruns. But there has been uh, a Taylor route, which is probably the best route that you can use from Dex Nav. But this guy's just like, hey, you want to go and learn how to do it, we're just like, nah, see you later, mate. We're off. And we're off to the next round. <laughs> we just ditch him. <laughs> so that is completely optional. Alright. So this next fight, this guy is a Zigzagoon. If you have bad speed, it can outspeed you, but thankfully this uh, Mudkip has good speed. Uh, if you also have bad attack, you can also not get the two shot, but we have decent attack, so we should get the two shot here. Use tackle, alright. And there we go. Zigzagoon down, and the crit just to, uh, just to add the icing on the cake there. 16, 12, 12, alright, that's good speed. Yeah, pretty, pretty decent kip overall, actually, for second try, we'll take that. And here again, we have to deal with the RNG that is getting encounters. So hopefully we don't get any more. Right, you just cut through the grass here, and then you get a nice little cutscene with a beautiful eye here, and your rival comes and hey, like, hey, why'd you ditch me? And just like, dude, you wasted my time. So he stops you. You do get a lovely cutscene here, though. Check him out. Beautiful stuff. Look at that. Can't get that on Fox still. Um, right. And then he tells us to go to the gym where our dad is. So the gym leader of this uh, this town is our dad, Norman. Uh, he basically tells us to get more badges and to help this guy catch his first Pokemon. Uh, this guy that we have is called Wally. So Wally will make a few appearances here in the run. Um, so instead of getting you to do a catching tutorial, we're actually helping Wally catch his first Pokemon here. So while we're doing the catching tutorial and mashing through this, perfect time for any donations or anything you want to say. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly just say we are all speedruns, a group doing speedruns of speedrun events to raise money for charity. For this event, we're raising money for Cure Cancer, a charity which funds early career cancer researchers who are working across all cancers and all areas of cancer research. If you would like to donate, you can go to donate.ozspeedruns.com or you can type in exclamation mark donate in the chat. Perfect. Yeah, so like I said, we're just... Uh... Help an old Wally here catch his rolts. He does have an interesting technique when he throws the Pokeball, I will say, Wally, but it works. <laughs> so 
So fun fact about this um, catching tutorial is that you can never KO the routes. It is scripted for you not to. Um, so you always get pretty much the same outcome for this. Rather, in the originals, it was actually possible for Wally to KO this. So they have quote unquote fixed it in this game. Alright, so after we help Wally, we go back to the gym. We get a spiel from our dad telling us go collect more gym battles and uh, gym ba badges, rather, and come back later to challenge him. Uh, and then we're going to move on to the forest. Oh, we also get the Pokenav um, from Wally here. It lets you use Wonder Trade and online features. Uh, something I haven't mentioned yet is that being online is not allowed in this game because there is something called O powers, and O powers can be extremely OP without being <laughs> without making too much of a reference there. So they can like give give you like a random stat boost. It's just pretty broken. All right, so we're off through the forest here. There is a trainer here, dodge him. All right, now I'm going to save for this fight. So this fight here is very, very mean. This Pucciana has sand attack, it has howl, and it has tackle. So the best thing it can use is tackle. The worst thing it can probably use is sand attack, because sand attack lowers your accuracy, and sometimes he just continuously spams it until you can't actually hit him. Uh, <laughs> So let's hope we don't get too much sand. There's been numerous uh, runs that I've got to this point where I've just got sand after sand after sand. So I wouldn't mind just getting a nice little clean fight here in, in a marathon setting. Might be asking a little bit too much, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> this is also the introduction to the evil team for this. It is Team Magma. And they've stolen the Devon goods from this guy and it's our job to save him pretty much. So that's what's going on in the story. So we just got to spam tackle and hope that he doesn't use sand. Oh, almost got him there, not quite. And this is a clean fight, no sand. Love to see it. Beautiful stuff. Made that look easy. Plus zero in speed, okay. So we're at 12 speed. A little bit concerned about my speed actually to see if I want to do the extra. I might buy the extra X speeds for backup just in case something goes horribly wrong. Because depending on what stats you get is how many uh, items you buy later on. We also get the experience share from this guy and he heals your team. He's just like, oh, thank you for saving me. And he's just like, oh, Team Magma doing Rustboro, uh, doing stuff in Rustboro too. So we're going to head there now. Um, Alright, so this guy is also a spinner. Just pass him. We'll grab this Balm Mushroom. This Balm Mushroom sells for 6,200 Poké Dollars, so very, very useful for buying items. We'll also grab this Aoife. Uh, Aoife restores your power points by 10. Uh, it will come in handy later on also. A little bit unlucky that we got an encounter on the way out, but that's okay. Yeah, the guy, the way the guy walks is pretty funny. And on our way out of the forest, we get this cutscene from this mysterious character. I wonder who this is. So this character... It's just like, oh, you know, something's going on. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so, it's just like, oh, this trainer seems so powerful. Alright, so we're out of the forest, and we are going to get, arguably, the most important TM in the game. TM49 Echoed Voice, from this guy. Um... I'll briefly explain what it does now, and then I'll go into more detail when we actually use it. So, Echoed Voice is... Hold on, i just got to make sure I don't hit anyone here. Alright, so Echoed Voice is a move that uh, deals more damage when used in successive turns. If you hit yourself with Confusion or use an item, you lose the boost, but you do not lose the boost when, you, when the opponent detects or misses due to Sand Attack. Um... So the maximum power is actually 200 for this move. So it goes from 40 to 80 to 120 to 160, then finally 200. So pretty dang OP for this early in the game. Um, so yeah, but I'll go into more detail when we actually use it. For now, we're going to head into the first gym. So the first gym is Roxanne, who specializes in rock types. 
Uh, on the way, we're going to fight a trainer. Uh, there's three trainers in this gym, and the reason why we fight the last trainer instead of any other trainers is that because this Geodude does not have Sturdy. Uh, so Sturdy is an ability that leaves you at 1 HP, so this Geodude does not have that ability, so it is a really nice, easy fight for experience before Roxanne. Having the type of advantage here is quite nice too. This one little water gun takes down the seer dude. Alright, nice. Get the mighty mud slump. We won't actually be using that uh, in this. Oh, we will use it once. Sorry, I lied. Alright, so this is the first boss fight or first gym leader of the run. So we're going to save here just in case something goes horribly wrong. Because uh, if we lost, we'd have to go all the way back home. And I'd rather not do that. So we're going to save just in case. Uh, hopefully we don't get um, crit or anything, you know, shocking happens here. Uh, so this Geodude does have Sturdy, so you'll actually see what it does. Um, so I can't one-hit this Geodude because of that reason, so it will hold on to one health. This Geodude always generally goes for Rock Tomb. Um, we actually want the Geodude to use Rock Tomb because if we if the Geodude misses or something else happens, the Nose Pass will actually use Rock Tomb and that does more damage than the Geodude. We actually didn't activate Sturdy, which is a good but also bad thing. <laughs> we skipped the text, but it's a bad thing because our special attack is not that great. <laughs> Alright, so we take care of that. So, Nose Pass generally does between 7 and 9 for a tackle. I reckon it will do about 8. Okay, does 6 that time. Okay, Water Gun did not do too much there. So, hopefully we get a better roll this time. Ah, uh, we are in Torrent. I haven't mentioned what Torrent does. Uh, torrent boosts your water moves by 50%. So, pretty damn positive. Uh, pretty damn OP as well. I've lost the train of what I was thinking, but we, we beat <laughs> Roxanne. Uh, oh yeah, Torrent only activates if you have one third of your health or less. That was a nice clean Roxanne fight, we'll take that. Alright, and we get given the Stone Badge. And we also get given TM39, which is Rock Tomb. Uh, it has 60 power move with 95% accurate. And it also lowers the opponent stage by one. We will be using Rock Tomb a bit in this run, but not too much. And now we've done that, it is our job to go and help the Sylph Co. Not Sylph Co. Why did I say Sylph Co? Um, Devon Corp. Employee, because this guy has stolen the Devon goods. So, again, this is a great time for anything you want to say um, while we're doing this side mission, pretty much. Yeah, I would just like to very quickly say, uh, just a quick reminder to everyone that donations of $10 and above during this event will put you in the draw for a variety of prizes. Thanks for Cure Cancer's Stream Timber event. The prize list and the teaser C's are all available at streamtember.solspeedruns.com. Also, still have the uh, the bid wars open for Latios and Grudon. Uh, Latios is currently winning with Lucky Ass at $50 and Hector's at $40. Also got the Groot on name. Uh, Hector's at fifteen dollars. Bluey's also at fifteen dollars, and the wonderful Moist is at twenty dollars. <laughs> Exclamation mark to donate if you want to get in there. All right, so this uh, we picked up a repel, and we're going to be fighting this guy for experience. Um, another easy fight for experience. One of the Geo dudes doesn't have Sturdy, the other one does. Um, so to skip that text, we're going to use Mud Slap here. So Mud Slap decreases the accuracy of the move. Uh, hopefully we don't get any bananas here from Geo dude. It can use Roll Out and it can crit and it can kill me and it didn't use it. Okay, we're all good. All good, never in doubt. <laughs> Alrighty, so now we're going to do a big menu. We're going to talk to this guy, say, oh, this guy stole my wing goal. It's called Pico. Pico is the wing goal. Uh, so we're going to be using that repel we picked up. 
We're going to potion twice to full because I like playing safe. We're going to teach Echoed Voice that move that I explained earlier, and we'll also teach Rock Tomb. So goodbye tackle and goodbye growl. Ah, uh, sorry, mud slap. So we quickly press X there to get out the menu quickly too. And then we're going to be taking on this guy who stole on the Devon Goods and this Wingo. Unbelievable that he would steal a Wingo. But here we go. Him once, and then we don't want to risk missing, so we're going to use water gun. And I missed. That's not good. Okay, please don't do that again. Okay, that's good. Just hit this one more, please. Thank you, Mudkip. Good stuff. All right. So you can see what sand attack can do to you if uh, you get a little bit unlucky there, but we got through all right. And we get given back the Devon parts from this guy, and Mr. Briny comes and says, Oh, thank you so much for um, rescuing the Pico. And he's just like, Oh, come by Pedalberg Woods for a, for a ride. So we're going to be doing that later on, but for now, we're going to go back to the Devon Corp and collect our prize for saving Mr. Briny there. tell this guy that we did get the Devon parts and as our prize we get the Great Ball. Unbelievable. And now we get to go to see Steven's dad. I've honestly forgotten his name, I'm sorry. Mr. Stone I think he's just called in this game. I don't think he has a first name, I'm pretty sure. He's the president of the company. So this guy tells us uh, to go find Mr. Brani and to go deliver a letter to Steven. Uh, he also upgrades your Poke Gear also. And we get told to deliver those, uh, those goods also. So quite a few little small tasks here. So we're going to exit now. We're going to see our rival again. He's just going to be like, oh, blah, 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 and go see Mr. Briny again. <laughs> and here is the first shopping trip. So this shopping trip is actually optional. Um, if you're going for like a top, top time, you can actually skip this, but we are playing safe, and we're in a marathon, so we're going to be taking the shop. So I'm going to buy two repels. That's not two. Two now. And we're going to buy three Super Potions. And we're off. We're done. And now we go back to where we came from through the forest and go see Mr. Briny, who offers us a lift to Doofit Town. Just got to make sure I don't hit this trainer. I'm going to wait. I don't think I've mentioned about the spinners, but the spinners can turn in all four directions. Uh, most of them do that. There are a couple that only turn in two, but you can dodge them all if you time it correctly. Alright. So now we go see Mr. Briny. Now this guy can be a little bit of a character. Hopefully, I'm just going to focus here for a bit. Alright, got him. <laughs> There's been a few occasions on my stream where I'd be chasing him around the table for like 20 seconds. <laughs> So, I'm glad that we got him first try. He can be a bit mean sometimes. He decided not to be mean to me today. All 
Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is go into this house and we're going to be picking up the Silk Scarf which boosts the, no the normal type moves by 20%. So as I mentioned earlier with Echoed Voice being an OP move, um, it is a normal move also, so we're getting the Silk Scarf and we're boosting the Echoed Voice even more now. Um, but because I'm at full health here, I'm actually not going to equip it yet. I'm going to equip it on the next fight. Uh, only It's only worth equipping it now if you need to heal, but I don't need to heal. I would definitely need to heal after this battle, and I definitely need to equip it after this battle. But let's see how we go here. Jaw. Okay, that's fine. Nice little crit there. Nice double crit. This mudkip is going in. I would like to save the crits for the next fight, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, so that is that trainer down. This next trainer, I like to call the Keeper of Runs. Every Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire runner would agree with me. This guy is arguably the hardest fight in the game so early on. Um, I did, did I equip it? Hold on, I just want to double check that. Uh, I didn't equip it? Okay, for some reason it didn't. Okay, now I did. Um, the reason why is that this Machop has Leer, it has Focus Energy, and it also has Low Sweep. So Low Sweep um, lowers your speed. It also does a lot of damage. Leer lowers your defense, and Focus Energy is a higher crit chance for him. So he's pretty damn OP for this early in the game. So hopefully we get it first try. Foresight's fantastic, that's what we want to see. If you could use not focus energy's fine. Alright, if we can just get the range here, everything's gonna be all good. Low sweep. That's a crit. And I need to heal. That's a little bit unfortunate, but not much I could have done there. I'm gonna heal for safety. Because he can kill me with low sweep. And that's another crit. Alright, as long as he doesn't crit, we win. He crit me again! Okay, well that's exactly what can go wrong with this fight. <laughs> you guys get to see there. <laughs> yeah, that's why we saved. Yeah, like I said, focus energy increases his chance for a crit as well, which makes it even worse than what it is. Yeah, attempt two. Let's see if we get it this time. But yeah, a little bit unlucky there. Anything but a crit, we would have been fine, but... Hideki decided to be Hideki. Alright, second attempt. Can we get it? Focus energy. That's okay. Use foresight this turn, please. Please? That's not fine. You crit me again, okay. Alright, <laughs> super potion. Alright, just don't do the thing and we're fine. Please. Okay. Alright, just don't be mean. Alright, we win. Okay, we did it. Woo, okay. Second try, we'll take that. That fight can be really, really nasty. Uh, I'm glad we got a second try, though. Alright, then we get Super Potion. And then head on. Oops. Oops, 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 oops. Okay, that was all, uh, all skillful. <laughs> I should mention, um, even though it says any percent, it is also glitchless. Uh, there are, like, a few quote-unquote glitches in the game, but they're not until after the game. One of them involves being on a Whalmer, and if you evolve a Whalmer in the water, um, because it evolves to... Waylord, it will crash the game because you're already on top of a Whalmer. So it's a quite interesting visual grit glitch, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so this Machop is a lot easier than Hideki's. Ah, oh, beautiful stuff. Alright, nice and easy win. Alright, now, normally for this fight, I would unequip the Silk Scarf, um, because my special, uh, because the Magahita has 
knock off. So we're going to do that real quick. Uh, let me just do that. And then we're going to save here. This fight can also be a little bit nasty if things go wrong, but hopefully it will be all fine. So this is Brawly. Brawly is the second gym leader. Or the second boss of the game, as, as you might want to say. So we're going to be spamming Echoed Voice for this fight also. Seismic Toss, alright. You have other moves. Don't I'd rather you not okay, that's fine. So we should still be able to get the two shot here on the Margahita, hopefully. Just don't do anything silly, Margahita. Bulk up's fine. Alright, that's a win. Nice. And that is the second badge down. Good stuff. Alright, relatively smooth Brawly's gym despite getting high deckied, uh, but we'll take that. Let's take a second try on a marathon. Alright, so now is a great time for any donations or incentives or anything that we have because we're going to go off and do a side quest and there's not much happening for the next minute or so, so if you've got anything, now's a great time. Alright, so now we go see Steven. Steven is a keen enthusiast on rocks. And he talks about this legend, pretty much. Alright, now that's done, we're going to exit the cave, and we're going to go to the next spot, which is Slateport City, where we're going to deliver the parts that Mr. Stone asked us to. And we're on the way there, we're going to be picking up the soft sand, and we're going to be picking up a PP up. So the soft sand boosts ground moves by 20%, and the PP up we sell for money. So talk to this girl to get the soft sand. Well, I was a little bit too close to the sailor there, but we're, we're all good. And pick up the pee, -pee up here.
And now we're gonna go see Mr. Sten, who tells us to go to the museum. Captain Cern, sorry, Captain Cern. <laughs> My bad. Alright, so now we go into the museum and they ask us if we want to save the world, but we have to be charged 50 bucks for it. <laughs> and we're going to run into more Team Magma guys, so. This uh, next fight is pretty, pretty easy going, so again, if you have anything to say or donations. Uh, feel free to say anything. Yeah, sorry, we just had a quick little uh, audio hiccup there. Uh, what I was supposed to say is we do have two incentives currently open for Latios and Grudon naming incentives. For Latios, Hector is currently at $40 and Latias is at $50. For Grudon, uh, both Hector and Bluey are at $15 and Moist is at $20. If you would like to donate to either of those incentives, exclamation mark and donate in the chat and follow the link. And when you write uh, your donation comments, please write down what you want the money to go towards. We can do that for you. Beautiful. All right, so this Zubat can outspeed you if you have bad speed, but we have average speed, so we should be fine. This is also the last fight we get to do as Mudkip, after this will we come Marsh Top. You can also get a little bit unlucky there if you miss Rock Tomb, because this uh, Zubat has Confuse Ray and it just can confuse you and you can get hit and it's just not a good time, but we got through it all good. off the 3DS for this one. We don't want to press B. So we also learn um, Mudshot at level 16. Uh, it's a ground type move with 55 power and 95 accuracy. Uh, change to Mudshot is special in this game. With the older games it was physical. So a little bit of a change there for Mudshot. We're going to get rid of Growl. Thank you for your services Growl. And this is where we are introduced to the boss of Team Magma, the evil team in this game. Maxi. Yeah, he just kind of stands at you, uh, stares at you for a bit there. I don't know why that's the case, <laughs> but like I'm mashing through that cutscene and it just won't let you um, progress. You just gotta wait for him to load and stop staring you down. <laughs> it's a little bit of a weird, weird thing. All right, so after we save the museum, we're gonna go and go shopping. So all of that stuff that I uh, picked up earlier, the PP up, the um, the bar mushroom. We're gonna sell it all here. All right. So just need to focus here for a little bit. So, all right. So sell this. Sell the pokeballs, the bar mushroom, the great ball, and the PP up. Uh, so we go seven X speeds, ten attacks. 1x defense, 5 of these, and then we want 4 super repels, and we have just enough money for bulldoze, which I'll explain later on when we get it, 4 super potion, uh, super repels, and then that's it. Alright, now we get stopped by a force cutscene here, um, so this is a over, like I'd say over a minute long uh, and it's just this girl saying how good she is at contest 
Um, so if we had any like donations coming in, like, in that last couple of minutes, now's a good time because I'm just mashing through text for the next minute. Um, or anything to say real quick as well. Yeah, look, I all I want to say is we are Oz Speedruns, a group doing speedrun events to raise money for charity. For this event, we're raising money for Cure Cancer, a charity which raises funds for early career early career cancer researchers who are working towards all cancers and all areas of cancer research. If you would like to donate, you can go to donate.ozspeedruns.com or type exclamation mark at donate in the chat. Perfect. Um, that is a very good question, Worcester. I would say the game wants you to focus more on defense than offense. There you go. So yeah, Lizzie's just like, I'll oh, come do in contest, but uh, yeah, we're gonna just ignore her also. We're just gonna ditch her. <laughs> See you later. Off to the next route. Route one one on oh. Yeah, I'm not sure. I as soon as I said I'm just like, wait, that's not the right answer. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be using Mudshot here. Uh this Plusle has a orange berry, and sometimes likes to use to switch a roo and give you the orange berry. So let's see what happens here. Okay, that's fine. Got two shot, very nice. Have a look at my speed here. What have we got? Twenty five. Okay, we're fine there. Minin Encore. So this Minin does have a berry also, so I'm not going to get the two-shot here unless I get a crit. Crit would be kind of hype if we get it. I did not get it. Now it used an orange berry again. Oh my gosh. What a troll. What a troll. Alright. And that's all done. Okay, up next is Rival 2. I'm just going to do the setup here and then explain the fight. Uh, just give us a second. Equip the silk scarf. And I'm also going to save here because I don't want to die. Alright, so uh, just going to wait for this guy. We're going to pick up the full heal just in case I get burnt. And on to Rival 2. So, Rival 2 in this game is a lot, lot easier than the original games. But saying that, this is still no joke, this fight. Um, so, for this fight, I need to use 3x specials, 2x speeds, and then spam Echoed Voice. So, Echoed Voice makes this fight so much better than the original. But it can go horribly wrong if Slugma decides to crit you, or burn you, or something like that happens, but hopefully that just doesn't happen. <laughs> and that's fine. Um, the best move we can use is Harden, so we really want it to use Harden. Harden or Rock Throw is fine as well. Ember's probably the worst thing you can use, because it has a chance to burn you. So we've set up those three X specials, now we need to set up those two X speeds to make sure that we outspeed everything. Harden's great, if you can do that one more time that'd be great Slugma. Rock Throw is also fine. Now we just spam Echoed Voice. Nice little crit there to make sure. So this can be arranged with my special, but hopefully we'll be fine. Hopefully. I didn't get it. Oh, that's... Okay, if he used Absorb there, I would have lost. So, I'm glad I didn't use Absorb. Oh, we dodged the bullet one there. Got a little bit lucky there. Sometimes you need a little bit of luck. It just shows you how bad this special is. But hey, we got through it. 
Rival 2 down. Get that free heal. Uh, I will also be picking up a revive here. Normally, in if you're doing like um, normal attempts, you don't pick this up, but because this is a marathon, I'm going to be picking it up for safety. Good old safety. Theme of this run. Alright, got to wait for this guy. Alright. This guy is a little bit hard to judge where he's looking, so I'm going to take my time here. Uh, okay. Alright, good stuff. Uh, we'll be picking up two sets of uh, lepers here. Normally you only pick up one set, but again, we're picking up an extra set for safety, just in case something goes wrong. Oops. Alright, then we enter Morville City, where Wally is. He's just like, oh, I want to go and take on the gym. So if you remember Wally, uh, this is a trainer that we helped catch a Ralts at the start of a game. And now he wants to go take on a gym. But before that, we're going to go get a bike. Um, so the two options in this game, as it is in the original, is the Mark bike and the Acro bike. Uh, the thing about this game, though, is that you can get both bikes, but at this stage you can only have one. But later on in the game you can actually get both the bikes, so it's quite nice to uh, get the option to get both of them. Uh, but we choose the Mark bike because the Mark bike is faster than the Acro bike to move around with. Then we are going to go make a little detour here. And we're going to grab a Bulldoze from this guy. So Bulldoze is a 60 power move, 100% accuracy, and lowers the stage by 1. It is really, really good for this uh, stage in the game. So we're going to be teaching it straight away, equipping that Soft Sand, which boosts the uh, Bulldoze by 20%. And we're going to be using that a lot in the next, you know, probably even, uh, what, like 5-10 minutes or so. The Bulldoze is really, really good for this uh, stage of the game. So even though it costs 10,000 Poker Dollars, it is worth it. Register the mark bike and use it straight away, and then we're going to go to the gym. And we'll see a familiar face here waiting for us. It is Wally. He's just like, Do you want to battle me? We don't want to battle him, but we're forced to. <laughs> so if you say no to them, they will just keep standing outside the front of the gym until we say yes. <laughs> so we are forced to fight Wally here. And for beating Wally, we get the HM for Rock Smash from his uncle. And then we are able to enter the third gym. So, the electric gym here is kind of a joke because Marsh Top is now a water and ground, so electric type moves cannot affect it. So, Marsh Top is really, really, really damn good for this gym, and nothing can really touch it. Um, it's by far the easiest gym in the game. And. It's just me going to be spamming bulldoze for the next, you know, five minutes, so now's a perfect time for anything you want to say. Yeah, I just also want to say uh, donations of $10 and above during this event this weekend will put you in the draw for a variety of prizes, including headphones, more headphones, even more headphones, some nano leafs as well are in there. Uh, thanks to Cure Cancer's Stream Timber events, the prizes and the T's and C's are available at streamtember.ozspeedruns.com. Good stuff.
So if you do the puzzle the way that I'm doing it, you can actually skip that trainer there. Quite a little nice trick, I guess you want to say. Um, obviously, we want to try and skip as many battles as we possibly can. But yeah, not much really happening in this gym other than us destroying everything with uh, Bulldoze. Uh, I will explain the Watson fight will we get when we get there. There's a little bit more interesting things that happen at Watson, but this is just uh, an absolute uh, field day for Marsh Top here in this gym. Alright, Watson, the third gym leader, or the third boss, whatever you want to call them. So, Watson, his team isn't really much of a threat. But we do have a little cool strat here on the Magnemite. So for the Magnemite, we're going to be using an X-Speed and then Water Gun. Now you might be asking, why Water Gun and not Bulldoze? Well, uh, Magnemite has the ability Sturdy, which we've covered before. Uh, but I'll cover it again. Uh, it's an ability that always lets you survive a one-hit KO um, to one HP. So to avoid that, we're going to be using Water Gun to make sure that um, he doesn't trigger that ability. Now this fight can be a little bit mean uh, if you don't use an XP because Magneton has Supersonic and the Bulldoze also has um, Sonic Boom and it just can be a little bit of a nasty fight. So that's why we use an XP here. Makes the fight a lot more safer and a lot more free. And now we're just going to Bulldoze through the rest of his team. And that is Watson down. So yeah, little cool strat there by using the XP and Water Gun there by saving the sturdy text. All right, and that's what's in there. Thank you, Super Ben. Much appreciated. All right. All right. Now we've beaten the gym, we can move on to the next place. Uh, so we're going to run into some grunts who we overhear that they're going to Mount Chimney. Um, we're going to be going up them. We're going to teach Rock Smash. Oops, not use the bike in the gym yet. <laughs> We're going to teach Rock Smash, and we're going to be using a Super Repel in the same menu. Now, this part coming up, we smash some rocks. There is a 13% chance to get an encounter. That is the worst possible thing that we can get. Um, the other two options are an item or nothing. We want we want nothing, uh, but it's just complete RNG what happens. So we're going to use uh, my... Where's my Super Repel? and teach Rock Smash. So Marsh Top is quite cool. Um, he gets to learn pretty much all the HMs that are required apart from Fly. Get rid of Water Gun. Which gym has the coolest looking badge? That is a good question. Ooh, I'd have to think about that. I'm not really sure. Alright, we got nothing. Alright, good stuff. We're just gonna take it safe here. Alright, and we get another free heal from the rival here. Yeah, Flannery's badge is actually quite nice. You know, that's a good choice, actually. Alright, we also get the HM for strength here. Da 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 da. We've got a couple of spinners coming up here, so just gotta take my time here a bit. And nice and easy, good stuff. Alright, we'll be uh, grabbing the Persian Berries up here as well. So, Persian Berries um, cure confusion, they come in very, very handy later on. Use a repel here. And I'm actually gonna save here, just in case something goes horribly wrong in this next fight. Um, 
So this guy has a Bagon and he has a Magahita. They both can paralyze you and like worst case scenario is that you can lose the run here. It's very rare, but we're not going to take any risk here. <laughs> it's it would be really really unlucky if it happens. Alright, so here's the Bagon. It does know Dragon Breath, and it does have a chance to paralyze me, so hopefully it doesn't do that. Hopefully it just uses Leer. Okay, there's Dragon Breath. And I got paralyzed! Well, the Commentator's Curse has come into effect. Okay. Alright. That's, uh, a little bit unlucky. So now there is a chance that we lose here to Magahita. It would be really, really unlucky, but it is a possibility. Alright, so we're going to X attack on this turn, hoping for a uh, fake out. That's fake out, good stuff. Alright, now we just got to get through and use Bulldoze. Force Palm, that's... F I'm fully paralyzed, I'm going to heal that. I'm not going to take any risk. <laughs> very, very unlucky there. Okay, that's fine, alright, just get through Paralysis please. Don't troll me. I'm paralyzed again. That's really unfortunate. Uh, Knockoff is really bad. I'm paralyzed again. This is really bad. Okay. I'm paralyzed again. This is horrendously bad. It's gone from bad to worse. Okay. Okay. Not, not only has the commentator's curse struck, it hit you like a truck. And I lose. Well, that's why I saved. That is extremely... Unlucky. <laughs> that is extremely unlucky. I can't... Wow. Oh, boy. Only in a marathon. <laughs> I didn't have any healing items there. I'm so glad that I saved. <laughs> well, you guys can see what exactly can go wrong in that fight. Oh, dear. Good old Pokemon. So just, so just a random question now. How many times has that happened to you before? Oh, like once or twice ever. <laughs> Ah, oh, damn, I thought it was going to be a never seen that before moment. It's never happened on a marathon, that's for sure. So there you go. There's that. Oh, dear. I'm just glad I decided to save for this fight, because normally you don't save. <laughs> Alright. Second try is a... Uh, seems to be the theme for this run. Alright, Bagon, be nice to us this time, please. No, no Trollerinos. Leer. Look at that. That's how good this fight can be if this guy decides to use Leer and not Dragon Breath. <laughs> Yo, Psycho. Thank you. Alright, so we're going to X attack again, hoping for the fake out. Good stuff. And then we're going to one-hit this thing like it was nothing, and like we didn't struggle at all. Look how easy that fight is. <laughs> we just got extremely unlucky. <laughs> Alright, now it is time for arguably the best cutscene in the game. Oh, how to, beat a, how to build a secret base. And now it's a perfect time for donations while we're learning this wonderful, wonderful trait in this game. Yeah, that's a perfect time because we've just got one through before from the $30 from Bored Banana who says, I'm not a fan of the name Moist. How about Gordon? Gordon the Grudon. Good luck to JT and all the runners in the rest of the marathon. With that donation, that puts Grudon up to $30 for Gordon, $20 for Moist, $15 for both Hector and Bluey. Uh, we've still got Latios. Latios is at $50 and Hector's at $40. Very nice. Yeah, we've got about probably... About half an hour, 25 minutes left on that, so I'd say probably closer to 25 minutes, so make sure you get your donations in for that. That's exclamation mark and donate if you want to get your donations in for that, you don't have much time left. Alright, this is just a long drawn out cutscene um, about how to build a secret base. We don't use them in this run, but I never really used it uh, in the casual play either. I'm actually interested from chat. Chat, have you ever used Secret Base in your game? Interested to hear the uh, feedback on that. Alright, so there's a couple trainers here. 
that I can dodge if I do my movement correctly, which should be fine. But we'll see how we go. Okay, there's Fairy Gold, nice work. And then if we take the top path here, we can skip another trainer. And then we get another free heal from my rival here. Alright, and he tells us to go to Falaba Town. Route ROM 113. I, I, I think this is probably the best rap music in the game, although there are a lot of good rap music. But I do enjoy this rap theme. Alright, this Trapinch doesn't always go down in one hit. Um, our attack is actually quite decent, so hopefully we get the range. Hopefully. Got it, nice. Haven't he actually explained what a range is? So range is something that's not always a 100% outcome, so that was probably like a 90% chance to KO that thing. Nice and easy fight. Alright, so again, there's a few fights in here that I can skip if my movement's good enough, so just got to focus here a bit. Umbrella Lely, nice work. Skip them. I'm going to use another repel. Jump here, skip that guy, go through the middle, and lovely stuff. Did it. Skipped all those trainers. Alright, now we're in Falava Town. And uh, we, we get told that Professor Cosmo has been kidnapped, and it is our job to go save him at Meteor Falls, so that is where we're going to head next. But before that, we have to get through Steve. So Steve here can be a little bit of a troll. He has an Aaron. So Aaron itself isn't that um, threatening. He can just waste a lot of time by using Protect over and over again. Um, this Aaron also has Sturdy, so we can't knock it out in one shot. So we have to use Rock Smash. Iron Head, that's fine. He d don't do the thing, please. Okay, he used Protect. Just don't do it again, please. He double protected, but we got through. Alright, good stuff. Alright, we're going to be grabbing this Comet Shard also. Uh, so this Comet Shard sells for 15,000 Pokedolls, so that is a lot. So we're, it is definitely worth picking this up. We can buy a bunch of items with it. Um, if I can actually press A. Hello. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so that is very, very handy item to sell. I'm going to wait for this guy. Um, don't trust that movement. Okay. And this guy too. Going to wait. Alright, we're off. And this guy too we can skip. if we. Okay, a little bit safe there, but better safe than sorry. I'm also going to save here. Because, again, if things go horribly wrong, we can lose this fight. But we've already had a fight where it's gone horribly wrong, so hopefully it doesn't happen again. <laughs> but you never know. I don't know if that's the... I don't know if the game's listening or not, but if, if the game is listening, that's your cue to make everything go wrong. Yep. Alright, so this is where we team up with the rival here. So this coughing on the right hand side will al always go for self-destruct, which is quite interesting. Uh, we got swaggered and we got hit, that is the worst possible turn one. We got self-destruct, which is kind of standard. This is not a good start to this fight actually. Uh, okay, it's still fine. I died. Well, I'm glad I saved. So, we are now going to have to rely on the rival for us to win this. <laughs> this is not good. The game is listening. The game is listening. <laughs> Alright, come on, Grow. I'll finish him all. Alright, new more.
Love Plume. Okay, that's bad. It comes down to Whalmer. There's a possibility that we still lose this. Surely the rival isn't silly enough. Use a water move, please. Mist! What are you doing? Use a water move! Thank you! There we go. Alright. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. The rival tried to throw the run after we got unlucky there. <laughs> Oh, all right, all good. You love love to see it in a marathon. <laughs> all right, so after we've beaten this guy, um, we get rewarded with the TM for SmackDown. We'll be using that later on. Uh, we also get offered a free trip back to Mole Wolf City. So this is not the case in the originals. In the originals, you are forced to go back there by yourself. So the game is quite nice in this version. Uh, where he's just like, hey, do you want to go to Marvel City with me? And you say, yes. Um, in the original games, we use, I think it's Abra or like a poison strat to get back faster. But it's, uh, yeah, pretty nice to have something that gets you where you need to go straight away. Quite friendly. Uh, yeah, dying to that fight was not good because I'll miss out on some important experience. But hopefully we should be okay still. Uh, we're only using Marsh Top for probably the next 20 minutes or so, so we just got to get through that. Alrighty. Oh yes, it is also time to go shopping again. Everybody's favourite time of the run. So we get that SmackDown TM, as I said earlier. And we're off to Morval City. And we're going to be selling that Comet Shard, which we picked up for 15,000 Poké Dollars, which is very, very good. And we're going to be buying a ton of healing items. Uh, if we can get in the door, hello, thank you. <laughs> All right. Not buy, I want to sell, please. Uh, it's also the top guy. No, this is the right guy. Okay, so uh, we're going to get rid of the Comet Shard. Buy some Max Repels. We only need 11. I'm going to buy 12 for safety. Uh, four of these. Maximum Hyper Potions. And I should be able to buy one Super Potion. Probably don't need it, but I've got the money too. I'm going to buy a Potion too. There we go. 22 bucks left over. Beautiful. So we're at full health, which is probably the positive sign from that double battle. Um, so I don't need to heal. I will use a max repel before the grass. So, so again, these boulders. We can either get an item, an encounter, or nothing. Let's see what we get this time. We get an encounter. All right, 13% chance. A little bit unlucky there. But one out of two ain't bad. Take this a little bit easy, and then on the bike. Alright, we're going to use a Max Repel here. It's up Frosted, thank you. And wait for this guy. Wait for this guy, and then off we go. We're going to go to the top of Mount Chimney. So, the reason why Team Magma are here is they are after the Meteorite to get the legendary Pokemon. So we're going to go stop them from doing that, pretty much.
Alright, so we're going to X attack on this. Uh, so coughing isn't... Oh, that's really bad actually. Uh, so we want to full heal that. So coughing is a bit... Um, has the ability to levitate, so we actually can't hit it with bulldoze, so we have to use rock tomb here. Uh, getting swaggered there isn't the end of the world actually. This will actually help by two-shotting this. Okay, it... This coughing also has smoke screen, so I'm glad I didn't use it. And good stuff. Alright, this next fight is really, really interesting. Um, I'm not going to give it the commentator's curse, but let's just say things can happen. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so you're giving it the commentator's curse. <laughs> I'm not talking about the battle. I'm just going to be like, things can happen. Uh, do those things include the battle going really, really wrong? You got it. <laughs> Alright, so this coughing knows self-destruct, um, and we'll only generally use it if you dip under 40 HP, but there are circumstances will where it just uses it randomly, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get it on the first turn. That's what we want to see. Clear smoke's fine. Self-destruct, okay, just don't do the thing and we're fine. Okay, we're fine. Good stuff. Alright. <laughs> Level 24, very nice. Okay, so we're going to heal here. So this is the first battle with Maxi. Um, I really, really like this battle music. It is really good. I'm going to heal to full here. And uh, we're going to equip the Persenberry. This uh, Mighty Anna likes to go for Swagger. So if we have the Persenberry, it automatically snaps us out of confusion. Very, very helpful. Time to bop to some music. So for the maxi fight, I need to use Bulldoze, set up two X speeds, and depending on how many times I get swaggered, set up X attacks also. So let's see how this goes. Okay, that's fine. Use it again, that would be really good. Uh, X speed once. Assurance. Okay, we really want swagger this mode. Uh, this move. Assurance. Okay. I'm going to X attack and then heal. So we're at plus three. I'm going to hyper potion here. Uh, what was my attack? So we're at plus three, aren't we? Okay, I'm going to use another X attack for safety here. Plus four. And we sh should be fine here. Should be. We can still lose this if we get incredibly unlucky. Alright, nice. Good stuff. Beat Maxi first try, we'll take that. Alright, and we now get the meteorite that they were trying to steal and use on the legendary Pokemon. I don't know um <laughs> I don't know why they think a meteorite's gonna do that, but we do it anyway. Alright, 
and now we've cleared that, we are going to go off to the gym. Before we go to the gym, we are going to get Sword Sands, um, which we will be using later on. Uh, so, interesting fact about this guy, if you say yes to him, he will not give you the TM, so you need to say no to him. It's a really strange conversation. You guys will see for yourself in a, in a second here. Alright, so here's the guy. So we say no to him, like I said. And we get Sword Dance. Really, really useful to him later on. And we're going to go off to Flannery's gym. Do we have a quick moment for a quick donation? Perfect timing, yes. Awesome. We literally just had $50 come in from a JP Super 13 and Susie Snow Bunny. They say, I really enjoyed playing this game. Can't wait for the Diamond and Pearl remakes that are coming out real soon. I'm also very, very excited for them. Gen 4 was great. Yeah, me too. That should be good. To say it. Also, a quick reminder to everyone, we are closing off the Latios uh, name bid war very shortly. Hector is currently at $40 and Lati Ars is at $50. And later in the run, the Grudon name will be closing off. Gordon's at $30. Moist is at $20. Bluey and Hector are both at $15. Exclamation mark a donate if you want to get in there. Make sure you put in what you wanted to go towards in the run comments as well. So we're going to heal here and equip the soft sand and talk to this guy. So this is the only required uh, gym trainer in this gym, apart from Flannery herself. This gym is relatively easy too, although I will say <laughs> Flannery can be mean sometimes, that's all I'm going to say. Alright. No, I will save here just in case, but it would be really horrendously bad if we lost to this fight. <laughs> Yeah, saving in this game is really, really quick. It's quite nice how quick it is. The first two Pokemon are pretty easy. This Torkoal can be very, very mean, so hopefully it just decides to use Sunny Day. Because it is a beautiful day outside. Come on, Torkoal. Do it for the fans. There it is. Beautiful. Alright, now we just need to hit Mudshot. 95% chance. Love to see it. Good stuff. Alright, nice and clean fight. Alright, and that's Flannery down, and that is our fourth badge. So now that we have four badges, we can now go and challenge our father in his gym. So we're going to head back to Paddleburg. Um, the rival is kind enough, again, to offer us a trip back to Paddle Paddleburg. Quite nice. Uh, again, in the original games, you don't get that option. You have to either teleport back or do poison strats, and it's really, really not fun. <laughs> so this is—it's uh, quite a—they they are very nice to you in the, the remake, and 
give the the option of just saying, "Hey, you want to go there?" and be like, "Yep." Alright, so, this first gym trainer can be a little bit trolly, uh, so this Del Caddy has Attract, it has Sing, and it can be very, very mean sometimes, so hopefully it's just nice to us today. The crit here would be really good stuff, but we'll wait and see what happens. X accuracy, alright. Oh, we got the crit! Okay, can we get the two shot? Can we get it? Not quite, dang. Use the track, alright, just get through, get through, you can do it. Good lad, alright, nice. Nice and easy fight, made it look easy. Alright, next room is the recovery room. This Linoon is mean also, so hopefully we just get a good fight. It seems to be the theme of this uh, gym sometimes. Alright, so we're going to X attack once. Uh, X attack once, thank you. Perfect, all those. Right, so we're going to have to use a mud shot here in between, that's fine. Stole my soft sand also, that's not good. Alright, hopefully we get the range here. Nice, good fight. Now, if your attack is really bad, um, you can actually lose this fight, but our attack is quite decent. So I'm gonna take a risk in a marathon. I'm not gonna save for this fight. Look out. Alright, so we're gonna heal to full. And we're gonna leopard berry bulldoze. So again, what leopard berries do, they um, restore your power points by 10. And bulldoze needs more power points. Alright, here we go, Bulldoze. Should still be able to get the free shot here, surely. Nice. Alright, all good. He crit me, but he didn't kill me, so we're all good. Nice and easy. Alright, it is now time for the penultimate battle with your father. So all of his uh, time on your journey so far has been leading up to this moment. A battle with your father. It's quite cool that they have that. Um, you know, I know that this came out in Gen 3. It's quite cool they still have it in this game where you get to battle your dad. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we're going to... Save before this fight, and we're going to heal. This fight can also go wrong. Um, so I'm going to heal up first. And we're going to quickly save. And then we're going to fight our dead. Alright, bring it on, dead. Let's do it. Alright, so this fight is a bit of setup. So we need to use 1x defense, 2x speeds, 4x attacks, and then go in. Uh, there is a little bit of healing in between. Uh, this, yeah, so Norman does get numerous opportunities uh, to crit you and just be mean, so hopefully that doesn't happen. <laughs> Alright, so first turn, X defense that we bought earlier. Yawn, that's fine. Now we're going to use 2x speeds, so that's 1. This is number two. 
We're now going to use four X attacks. That's one. This is number two. Encore is perfect. This is number three. And last but not least, number four. Encore is perfect. Um, Alright, now we want to full heal because we want to attack next turn. Now we use Bulldoze. Encore is perfect. And then Bulldoze again. Bulldoze the Vigor off. And I will need to heal on the slacking, so the slacking has retaliate uh, and can just KO you. So retaliate's damage doubles if the turn before the Pokemon fainted, so that's why I need to heal here. So this is going to do a fair chunk of damage, but we should still be okay, question mark. It used Swagger, that is very rare and weird at the same time. Okay, uh, so we're going to full heal that. Now we're going to bulldoze. I might have to... No, I think we should be okay here. And bulldoze to finish off. And that is the battle done. Good stuff. Alright. A little bit of a hard fight, but we got through it. We'll take that. First try. Alright, and that's our fifth badge down. Which means we're probably like two or three minutes away from the Latios. So if you want to quickly plug that before it cuts off, now's a great time. Yeah, this is, as you just heard, this is the last chance for uh, one of the naming donation incentives for Latios, or is it Latio, you just said? Latios, yeah. Oh. Latios, okay, cool. Well, for that, we have Hector at $40 and Lati Ars at $50. Exclamation mark, let's donate if you want to get in it and then just chuck it in the comments what you want it to go towards. Uh, but we do have a couple of donations here. One of them, $15 from Foo Psycho. Let's try this again. More money to charity. Good luck on the rest of the run, JT. Bit sad I missed this event. Just wasn't com just wasn't confident on my run. Runner choice for the incentives, please and thank you. Good luck to the rest of the runners over the weekends. We also have $5 from Anonymous saying, Mario, Sonic, and the motion controls, please. Nice. We close to so meeting that? <laughs> Uh, for the motion control, I think we're still quite a ways from that. Yeah, 75 out of $500, but we've got, uh, I think, till middle of tomorrow to hit that one. Nice. I'll put that 15 bucks towards that. that there put you that go. Put that 15 bucks towards that? Easy. Beautiful. Thank you for that. All right. This is a nice little moment between the two dads of uh, Wally and me saying how far we progress. Uh, Wally gives us a nice little free ride to the next round also. Um so I'm going to be teaching Surf, I'm going to be Healing, and I'm going to be teaching Strength here in this next menu. So you probably got like one, one, I'd say, 74 seconds to get your donations in for Latios. I am keeping my eyes off that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit this trainer! No, what am I doing? Oh, that's really bad. Okay. Uh, well, that has never happened before. Alright, uh, I don't even know what the scale has. This is going to be interesting. Okay, uh, hopefully Bulldoze hit, kills this. I don't even know. I'm hoping that Bulldoze also kills this. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it does. Alright, well that's the first optional I've hit for the run, so we can't be too upset. I've just never hit that girl in a run, so... <laughs> first time for everything, I guess. Uh, okay, so... Back to what I was saying, we're gonna heal <laughs> and teach Surf and Strength. Oh gosh, alright. Absolutely, that was the plan all along. Making up for the lost experience. <laughs> Teach. Ah, no. Gip it, gip it. Okay, there we go. Uh, give it a rock tomb, I think. Yeah, I just kind of forgot what I was doing there for a second. 
All right, and now is one of the biggest changes that they did from the original games to this game. Um, so you still meet up with Steven, which is what happens in the original. Um, but for some reason, I really don't know why they did this. They decided to make you go visit Southern Island and get a free Latios. Um, it's pretty damn OP for this stage in the game, getting a legendary... Uh, so yeah, this is quite different to the original, where they're just like, oh wait, you have to go to Southern Island. So, a little bit of a change here from the original game. Uh, and again, the reason why I'm playing on Omega Ruby is that Ladi Oss um, has way better special than Ladi S. Uh, much much better. He's just, uh, Stevens is going on about Mega Evolution. This is where we get to, uh, team up with Steven, too, in a double battle. It's a weird spot to get Repel wearing, wearing out. So Team Magma are trying to steal this Latios for... ...whatever reason. <laughs> and we get introduced to Courtney, one of the best admins in the game. And we also get introduced to Mega Evolution here. Uh, I'll go over that once after this battle. And after this battle, we'll cut off the Latios um, name, please, if you don't mind. And let me know who wins. That is all good. Alright. I'm going to use Surfium. Zen Headbutt's good. Hopefully this is enough to kill camera. It is not. Matang! Alright. And nice. Alright, we'll cut off the Latios nickname, please, and let me know. Cheers. Awesome. Well, coming in at $50, we are naming our Latios Latias. Alright. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great meme. I love it. Thank you for those donations, guys. Just a reminder that the uh, the Grudon incentive is still open. Gordon's at thirty dollars, Moise is at twenty dollars, Bluey and Hector are both at fifteen dollars. Competition could still be hot for that one, so exclamation mark donate if you want to get involved with it. L A T I A S, right? Yes. Thank you. Just wanted to double check I got that right. <laughs> All right, we all it, okay. So at this point, we get given a mega ring and a mega stone. So for this, basically, what mega evolution is, think of it as like a powered up version of a normal, um, fully evolved Pokemon. So it's basically like an ultra form or a mega form, or it's just pretty damn OP. But we won't be using mega Ev evolution on the Latias at all. Alright, and now is the time where I get to find out how good this Ladi Oss is. Um, we want to see 92 Special and 80 Speed. That is the best possible combination. Uh, in my practice run, we had the worst possible nature and the worst possible stats. So hopefully that doesn't happen in a marathon. But yeah, feel free to have some uh, nature guesses, guys. What do you think I'm going to get? <laughs> the best possible one will be Modest, but I'm not, I'm not going to be too greedy. I'm going to ask for like a a docile one or something, something neutral, something nice. Let's see how we go though. I'm not gonna find out just yet, but in about a minute we'll find out how good this is. I'm gonna wait. I should definitely write the decision. Alright, and as I said at the very start of the run, never mind, disregard. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go pick up an elixir and we're gonna also pick up a PP up. So 
an elixir heals uh, your power points by 10. That's every single one uh, move that you have. So very, very good. And this PP max maxes out the power points of one move also. All right, so this is a moment of truth where we found out how good this uh, Latios is. Here we go. All right, so switch you. We're going to give a Persenberry. Uh, teach Surf. All right, look at the stats here. What do we got? 96 special attack and 80 speed. Okay, so that's perfect speed. And really good special attack, but minus defense nature. So, uh, I mean, pretty good. We take those. We take those. Um, and I want a PP max on Lost of Purge. Alright, good stuff. Alright, and it's now our mission to stop all of these guys at the Weather Institute. Yeah, plus special attack, minus defense. Good stuff. Yeah, that would be mild, I reckon. Also, I should have mentioned that if we didn't go in here, um, the next route would have been blocked off by uh, Team Magma, so we are forced to do this. Money and it can be a little bit mean, so don't be mean, please. Snarl, that's fine. Alright, and we can skip this trainer by going around. Just like that. Beautiful. And now we get to witness. This guy slapping someone after this fight. You guys will love it. <laughs> Not very often in Pokemon games you see someone slap someone. It is actually worth mentioning also, you can skip those PP Maxes and the Elixir. Uh, I just think it's safer to get them in a marathon setting. Alright, and this is where we get Cast Form. Um, so Cast Form is used... Uh, for one double battle, it also comes with a very, very handy item. It comes with a Mystic Water, which increases the power of Water-type moves by 20%, and is given to Latios for the rest of the run because Latios no Surf. Very, very, very handy, handy item. So we're actually going to um, take away the Persian Berry, and we're going to take away the Soft Sand because we need them for later on also. Alright, now we go fight the rival. Normally it wouldn't be raining, um, but for some reason I might have accidentally put in the wrong date. Um, if you play at a certain date, this route doesn't rain. Uh, it's not much of a time loss, but I was meant to set it to the correct date, but unfortunately I might have put it on the wrong one accidentally, but that's fine. Alright, so we're fighting our rival again. This fight, we don't use any X items whatsoever. It is... An interesting one, to say the least. Shoot, and it's 
fine. Nice paralysis and easy fight. Good stuff. Alright. So the rival goes over Mega Evolution again, and as a reward for defeating him, we get the HMO2 Fly, which you can't actually use until you have beaten the, uh, the next gym leader, so it's quite weird how it gives you it and you can't actually use it yet. All right, now we're off to the next uh, the next part. So the gym is actually blocked off by an unseeable object. So we make our way to Route 120 now, where we meet up with Steven yet again, and he goes over the Devon Scope and how we can see invisible Pokémon. And as a gift, he gives you the Swampertite, which Mega Evolves Swampert. Um, but obviously, if you choose the Fire Starter, he gives you the appropriate stone. So quite quite a little nice that he gives you the this stage in the game also. Uh, and he says, do you want to show me how strong your Pokemon are in a battle? So we're gonna go take on this Kecleon and just run away from it straight away. <laughs> it's uh, the quickest way to get through this battle. And like I said, it gives me it gives me the Devon Scope and the Swamp Ordite. And now we can go back and go into the gym and clear out that unseeable Kecleon that we couldn't before. So we're gonna head to the gym. So every single trainer in this gym uh, is an optional. Like you can skip all the trainers except for obviously the gym leader herself. Uh, so, so we'll probably take it a little bit slower to make sure I don't hit anyone. Uh, should be fine though. Alright, in we go. I'm gonna wait, I don't trust that, yeah. <laughs> okay. What? He was the but the you but the Okay. He was not look what Okay, alright, I guess that can happen too. He was not even looking at me. Okay, alright. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, so that can sometimes happen also if you um, if you enter the same tile as when the the spinner is dodging. But yeah, you guys get to <laughs> you guys get to see the wonderful thing of spinners in this game, how they operate when they're not actually looking at you. They can still see you. Oh, pfft. okay. Stop knocking on the door. Stop knocking on the door. What are we doing? All right. Uh, I wasn't gonna heal, but now I am. Uh, let's heal up. And because we haven't saved in a while, and just in case something horrid goes wrong, we're going to save here. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry about the ears. <laughs> sorry headphone users, I apologise. I know, the hacks. Alright, so, well no no. Two X specials, that's it. Very easy fight. Um, however, it can troll you with double team, and we don't want to, to get trolled. Alright, X 
special twice. That's not it. X special, thank you. Alright, now just hit please. Good stuff, alright. Nice and easy fight. So this scammery can be a, uh, a range at bad special attack, but because we got good special attack, it will always go down. Uh, this Pelipper can also be a troll and like to use Protect. And it did use it, alright, just don't do, use it again please. Good lad, no, good lass I should say. And that is Winona down! So after we have beaten Winona, we can now use the HMO to fly, and we are off to Mount Pyre. Um, so again, now is a perfect time for any donations or shoutouts or things you want to say while we're doing that. Yeah, we're just going to give another quick little uh, plug for the current donation incentive we have for this run for the Grudon name. Uh, it's currently open still. We've got Hector and Bluey all both in the last at $15, Moist at $20, Gordon at $30. Again, if you want to get in there, exclamation mark, donate. We'd like to see Hector maybe get in the lead, or even Moist. Alright, so we're going to head on through to Mount Pyre. There's a few trainers on this route. Uh, but again, if I do the correct movement, we can dodge them all. Oops. Just gonna wait for the skill. Alright. Uh, okay, pick up these person berries. And run into these. Mount Pyre Grunts. Alright, we grab a free heal here from the Pokemon Center lady. Very, very handy. Very nice of her to do so also. So that restores our Pokemon to full health. And now we're off to Mount Pyre. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I want to go down this way. Or just almost forgot where to go. Okay, all good. Alright, now we're finally here on top of Mount Pyre. Um, so the Mighty Ennis here, they have an interesting ability uh, called Quick Feet, which doubles the speed under uh, Paralysis. So we actually don't want to paralyze the Mighty Ennis when we get up to them, because they can outspeed you when they're paralyzed, which is uh, can be a little bit annoying. This is the first fight with Mariana.
got the crib, but didn't one hit it. That's still good. All right, nice. So don't need to heal here, which is quite good. Still got one more mighty enemy to get through, and that's the next one here. Embargo, perfect, good stuff. Alright, one more fight to go in this area. So we run into Courtney and Maxi once again, and Maxi steals one of the orbs, which is, um, there's a legend saying that if you use this orb, you can wake up uh, Groudon. So now uh, Maxi is going to head, head off and tells Courtney to deal with the situation. <laughs> yeah, perfect time for orb. <laughs> Do we have time for a quick donation? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. We've just had a massive $100 coming from Neo, who says, put this to cute sheep, please. That, of course, is going to the Air Memories of Old Run for the incentive. Play with cute sheep, because, you know, there's cute sheep in the game, and we get to visit them. That brings that total up to $100 out of $200. So already halfway there with one donation. That's awesome. Thank you. Alright, so Maxi has a red orb, we are entrusted with the blue orb. Uh, because the legend states that they can't be separated for too long, so it's up to us to stop the day. Alright, and then we get told that they're going to Slateport next, but we are going to qu quickly grab this rare candy. And then we are going to teach Fly. Uh, fly. Get rid of Psycho Swift. And then we're going to fly to Slateport City, because that's where they said the things were happening. Alright, and this will be, hopefully, I say hopefully, because there is some circumstances where I might have to do it again, but this is hopefully our last shopping stop for the run. We're going to go in here. We're going to buy some stuff. Alright, uh, let's go. We're going to go. Ten of these. Uh, three of these. One guard spec. Not that. And seven of these. I only need six, but I'm buying extras just for safety again. Okay, we're gonna buy 11 of these. Uh, I did that already, what am I doing? Alright, two of these. And just to plonk the rest on for restores. Um, I do have leftover money, so I'm gonna buy two more hypers as well. And there we go, we're off. You have leftover money, so you're going to type exclamation mark donate in the chat and then uh, donate it towards Cure Cancer? I wish I had $200. <laughs> that'd, that'd be great. Alright, so now we've done that. Um, Team Magma steals Captain Stern uh, submarine to access the cavern where Groudon is uh, to be sleeping. After we defeated them, uh, we can get a ferry to Lily Cove to chase Team Magma into their hideout. All 
Alright, Max is here yet again, but uh gonna let the grunts handle this and the bosses go off in the submarine. More money in us to deal with. Taunt's perfect. We're getting really good fights with the uh, money in us so far. So the money in it can use um, Crunch also, which can lower your defense, and we have bad defense as well, so really, really glad that it's not using it. <laughs> Alright, so now we've cleared that out. Um, Captain Stern offers us a ferry to Lily Cove. And that's where we're going to go because that's where Team Magma's hideout is apparently. Alright, so up next is the rival battle. So, in the originals, you don't have to fight this guy, but uh, in this game, they force it upon you. So you actually get to see a really quick fight. Um, so if I had bad speed, I'd have to use 1x speed, but because we have good speed, we can skip that. And the same with uh, x special attacks. I only have to use 1 here. If we had bad special attack, I'd have to use 2. So this is, uh, this is going to be a nice little fight where we just have to X special once and then we can just go in. do need to keep an eye on how many Surf and Luster Purges that I have too, so I've got 10 and 5 at the moment, okay. Nice Paralysis. Five and eight, okay. So I will need to use an elixir, that's fine. Alright, and that's the rival down. That's an easy fight. Alright, so we have now beaten the rival and we are going to go head to Team Magma's Hideout. Where we pick up uh, an overpowered item. You guys will see that in a minute or so. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to heal here and use an elixir to get my Surf and my Mist Balls back. Uh, sorry, Luster Purge, I don't know why I said that. 
And we're off to Team Magma's Hideout. So yeah, you notice me um, continuing to refresh uh, the Max Repels, even though I'm not in the water. It is just quicker to um, refresh it like that, rather than going... I got quick spun again, that's incredibly unlucky. Um, rather than going into the menu every single time. trainer is forced. Uh, I don't think I mentioned yet, if you actually talk to a trainer from side, uh, you can skip that exclamation mark thing, but I kind of messed up the movement there. It's not it's not that huge of a time loss, but uh, it is worth mentioning. Nice paralysis. Good stuff. Alright, so this is where we're going to get that OP item, um, so I'm going to make a quick detour for the Master Ball. <laughs> so the Master Ball is uh, a ball that 100% guarantees a capture of any Pokemon. So this Master Ball is used later on for Groudon. Uh, mentioning Groudon, we've probably got like uh, 20, 25 minutes left on that, so... I'm going to quickly plug that. Now's a great time while I'm grabbing this Master Ball. Yeah, as you just heard, there's about 20-ish minutes until the Groudon uh, name incentive closes up. Hector and Bluey are both at $15. Moist is at $20. And Gordon, which is a pretty good name, it's uh, currently in the lead by $30. Just remember, you can also suggest your own names if you donate. And you can put that in the donation comments on Tiltify. Exclamation mark, donate, or go to donate.ozspeedruns.com Alrighty, so this trainer here, I can skip if I've all good there. Alright, so here, uh, not, not yet, sorry, one more battle to go. This battle is relatively easy. Uh, the Master Ball is optional, you don't have to get it, but it is the best way of capturing Groudon. I don't know how else you would catch him. <laughs> Alright, so now that this train is out of the way, up next is most likely the most unique battle in any Pokemon speedrun that you'll ever see. I know it's a huge claim, but it's a 5 on 1 horde battle. 5 on 1, guys. But uh, fortunately for us, they're all just Poochianas that are at level 19 or 18, and you can just hit them all in one shot with Surf. <laughs> so it's not as bad as you think it is. There we You Surf, and then the game thinks about it for a couple of minutes, and then decides to use it. <laughs> this is like one of the only fights where the game lags for a little bit. And there we go, one, two, three, four, five, like bowling pins, and they're all done. And we just defeated five trainers at once. Very unique fight. <laughs> Alright, up next is Courtney. So Courtney here is stalling for time for Maxi to use the submarine, which they have modded um, to look like a camera up, so it looks pretty cool. 
And uh, yeah, she has some in uh, interesting dialogue there. If you guys uh, manage manage to catch it, you probably didn't because I was going too fast. But <laughs> some very very interesting dialogue. Apparently, Courtney stalled for just enough time for Maxie to get away. So, it is... We're now going to move on. So, she gives us a clue where they're going, but we're going to move on to the next town, which is Lily Cove, where the next gym battle and gym leaders await us. Did I say Lily Cove? Yeah, I was meant to say Mitt Moss Deep. Um, I apologize. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this guy. Thank you. to the gym. Alright, so again, all of these trainers are optional unless I hit them accidentally. So hopefully we don't do that like we did last time. <laughs> last time I mentioned that we hit that optional in uh, in Winona's gym, so I hope the same thing doesn't happen here. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. Slow here. Okay, nice. One more trainer, and we've done it. All right, now for Tate and Liza. Uh, now, every time I fight these guys, I'm just like, this is the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z. You guys watch how they dance. Um, also, this fight in this game is a lot, lot easier than the originals. Like, the originals are really hard. They make them an absolute joke in this, how easy it is. Yeah, watch uh, Tate and Liza's fusion dance here, guys. Jun? Oh, look at that. <laughs> anyway, right. So for this fight, it's relatively straightforward. We use Surf, and then on the other Pokemon's turn, we use an X Special. And it is a really, really easy fight. It's also the only uh, gym battle that has a double battle, which is quite cool. Oops, no, 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 no. Cast form. Alright, so cast form gets the shine here. And that. Oh, wait! She survived that. That is interesting. Okay. Um. Well, that's. Never happened before. Did it use light screen? I wasn't 100% paying attention, to be honest. Uh, okay. Alright. Got it that time. Okay, that was weird. Okay, we won, though. So that's all that matters. Alright. Relatively easy fight, though. Good stuff. Must use light screen. I wasn't 100% paying attention to what happened there. I was too focused on using my X specials. 
Alright, so we get our seventh badge, the mind badge. And now we exit the gym. And we can see a cutscene with a green light coming from the Route 128. And Steven happens to be in this area and runs into us yet again. Uh, he will give us the HM for dive and the Devon scuba gear and tell us to hurry to 128 to save the world from Team Magma. Uh, so this is quite a long stretch with only three battles in the next, say, 25 minutes or so. Uh, with a lot of cutscenes and piled onto the story. Uh, it's basically getting to the climax of the story. Um, so if you have anything to say in the next, you know, 20 minutes or so, now's a great time. I will say we've probably got about, uh, what, like 15 minutes, maybe 10, before Groudon cuts off, so... Uh, that's really about it. Alright, well, if you guys want to keep us all entertained in the next 20 minutes, exclamation mark and donate, or go to donate.ozspeedruns.com to be able to uh, donate towards cure cancer and also get into that ground on naming incentive which closes in about 15 minutes but we are Oz Speedruns and we're doing uh, sorry we're a group doing speedrun events to raise money for charity for this event we're raising money for cure cancer a charity which funds early early career cancer researchers who are working across all cancers and all areas of cancer research if you'd like to donate you can go to donate.ozspeedruns.com and just remember if you were in australia uh ten dollars or more will put you in the one put you in the running for some awesome prizes that you can sometimes see scrolling through the bottom of your screen. Okay. So, we are going to go to Route 20, 128, like I said. Uh, before that, I will need to teach dive. Um, I don't need to heal because I'm at full health, which is quite nice. Uh, yeah, full health, so teach dive to Marsh Top. And then we're gonna go underwater. It's only two times in the run that we go underwater, this is one of the two. And we're off to Sea Floor Cavern. Alright, this next section is um, a lot of boulder pushing and a little bit of a puzzle. Um, there are a few trainers here that I can skip also, so I'll probably try and focus to not hit them. I'll also get off my bike for this section, because this guy can be a little bit of a troll. Let's see what he decides to do. He does do that. Okay, and then he spins all that. Okay, good stuff. So we can actually skip all of this boulder section just by um, biking around it like that. <laughs> I know when I picked up this game casually, I was just like there for a few, a good, a good five minutes trying to figure out where to go, and all of that time you could have just gone there. <laughs> like, just gone around. Oh, oh, yeah, I will say that cycling is very, very hard in this section, because it is very precise. Alright, so this is the last grunt before Maxi, so... There's Assurance. Ah, uh, that did a lot of damage. Ow. Um... Mm, okay, I'm definitely going to heal that off, just in case. That's the first time a Marianne has actually used a, a move that uh, that hurts me, though, so I can't complain too much. But that did a lot. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to heal and then save. Um... 
just before Maxi though. And I'll explain the Maxi fight when we get to it. But before that we got more boulder puzzles. And a little bit of precise movement here, so hopefully I don't mess it up too much. Um, okay, yep, I messed it up. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it is pretty hard to control in this area. Okay, so here's the maxi cutscene. So before this, I'm actually going to heal to full uh, for safety, and I'm going to save. Um, because there is a very rare scenario that he uses embargo and you just lose. There's nothing you can do about it other than cry. Um, <laughs> generally, Mighty Anna likes to spam Scary Face, and we have a guard spec and we can set up on it relatively easy. But there has been a few occasions where he uses Embargo. Um, for those who don't know what Embargo does, it means I can't use any items in the battle, and it makes it very, very hard to win. Um, is extremely rare, and it is a run over if that happens, pretty much. So that's why we're saving in the extreme circumstance that that happens. But I'm sure it won't happen in a marathon. Absolutely not, right? <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, so we're going to guard spec turn one. There's the scary face. Now we're going to X speed. Scary face again, perfect. Alright, now we're going to X special twice. Hope for more scary f taunt. That's okay. X special again. Okay, can't use items, but that's fine. We're already set up. Okay, perfect. We'll take that. Taunt wear off. Good stuff. Nice little background here that we have for this battle too with lava in the background. So for those who don't know what's happening um, story-wise, Maxi is trying to control Groudon with the Red Orb, and now he's going to wake it up by unleashing Chaos into the real world. Here we go. Like, even, um, Tabitha is trying to stop Maxi from doing this, but Maxi does it anyway. Because <laughs> plot armor, you know? Yeah, pretty much. That's what he decides. He's just like, oh, you know, even though you stop me and beat me, I'm just going to do it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so now Groudon is awake and unleashing its fury. So now there's a hot sun bearing down outside. Gotta love how Groudon's just moving on lava in the water as well like that. <laughs> it's an interesting cutscene.
<laughs> yeah. Alright, and now you hear the drought theme, which is the second best theme. Um, the best theme is the, uh, the heavy rain. Uh, that's only in Alpha Sapphire, though. But for the next uh, probably few minutes or so, you get to hear the drought theme. So at this point, Maxi realizes that he made a mistake after he's unleashed this uh, legendary Pokemon and it's now sucking up the world with the sun. Um, so basically it's our job now to stop the legendary Pokemon. It's all on us. Alright, now a Steven comes and he tells us to go to the Cave of Origin in Satopolis City. Oh yeah, he also says uh, this is the thing that he saw back at Granite Cave where we first met him. So all the way back, what, like an hour and a half ago where we first met Steven, he's just like, oh, this is exactly what happened in that painting that we saw. And now we're off to Setopolis. I know. Spoilers. Uh, yes, and then use... It's the second time and the last time we get to go underwater in this game. Up here, thank you. Alright, so now we're here, we are given the Magma Suit. So this Magma Suit um, apparently protects you from everything. Um, don't ask me why we're actually trusting these guys after like two and a half hours of these guys trying to destroy us and then they give us a suit that apparently protects us from the legendary Pokemon. Uh, you know, just just... Just trust us, I guess, is what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, take it's very safe, of course. It's been tested a hundred times. <laughs> And I reckon we got about 2 minutes and 12 seconds until Groudon cuts off. So I'm going to quickly plug that before it ends, if you don't mind. Yeah, that's all good. Once again, the Groudon name is still open. Uh, Hector and Bluey are both at $15. Moist is at $20. And it looks like we might be naming Gordon, because that's currently at $30. One thirty-one dollars donation can change everything though if you want to get in there exclamation mark donate in the chat or donate.ozspeedruns.com beautiful oh 
Oh, come on. I'm in the middle of what happened there. I was in the middle of the stairs, but the game didn't let me go down. Okay. That was weird. That's okay. It's the classic JT things that he does. Oh, gosh. Yeah, pretty much. JT movement. Nice, nice to know nothing changes in the marathon. All right, so giving, uh, so we now put on that suit, which apparently protects us from Groudon. Um, and we get the blue orb to protect us also, which makes slightly more sense than uh, having a suit. But I guess they wanted to combine the both of them together for whatever reason. <laughs> and then you get to see this cool cutscene where we get to ride Groudon. Um, through the lava. Okay, yeah, uh, the suit might be plot armor, but there's something coming up that I still don't understand. I'll, I'll tell you guys in a second here, when we get to it. Yeah, cool little cutscene here with Groudon. Alright, so now we get to the final destination where the lava is its absolute hottest, and now we decide to take off the, the suit. It re I, I'm still baffled by this, look. So, we're in the hottest part of the cave, right? And now we want to take off the suit. <laughs> Can someone in someone explain that to me? Because I, I still don't know to this day. Alright. I'm going to cut off the Groudon nickname right now, I reckon. Now's a good time. It gives me time to do, do it. Alright, we have no more donations. And we are naming our Groudon Gordon. G-O-R-D-A-N. Thank you very much. Oh, kid. Capital G, I'm guessing? Yes. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, I still don't understand why she takes off the suit now when it's like at its most peak. <laughs> Alright, and this is uh, Groudon's primal form. You will actually be seeing this later in the run. Uh, depending on my stats, it could be, it's at least once, but potentially twice. We'll be uh, throwing the master ball that we collected, uh, what, like, I want to say half an hour ago, maybe less than that. Maybe, yeah, 20 minutes ago. Uh, this is exactly why I picked up the master ball to catch this ground on. It is six levels higher than the Latios at this point, and it is pretty OP, so we're going to catch it. And name it Gordon. Do we have a moment for a couple more donations as well? Yes, uh, we have about 90 seconds where I do absolutely nothing and have to wait for a cutscene, so perfect time. Perfect. Um, we just had $20 from Benji Plays, who just missed out on the crowd on incentive, putting it towards Moist. Just missing out by about a minute, unfortunately. But we also have $15 from Trip AU saying put it towards playing his math in Super Smash Bros. Wii U, which is, of course, the next war that is currently open. All right, like I said, there's about over a minute here where I can't do anything and you're forced to watch this cutscene, so now's the perfect time to hydrate. Wait, did I nickname the Pokemon incorrectly? Um, well, I can go to the name reader. 
Oh, I'm sorry if that, uh, that's the case. Uh, I might have to take a detour to the name raider then. I don't know. If it's Gore Dad, then I think the chat might actually. Be <laughs> <to> <laughs> <laughs> that was unintentional. I'm sorry. Well, I, <laughs> I made it better by accident. Oh gosh! All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, so basically we saved the world here, and everybody's amazed that we did it. Uh, there's not much else happening here. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I can confirm you did name a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry. Uh, like I said, I can actually go to the name raider, but if people want me to keep it like that, that's fine as well. I don't know, considering we've got four Nabby Boots just sitting in chat right now, I think that's pretty happy with that one. L leave it? Alright, no stress. Um, again, I do apologise, it was a complete accident, but made it better somehow. Oh gosh, alright. <laughs> uh. Alright, so now we've saved the world, everybody's just like, yay, we've saved the day. It's a very long, drawn-out cutscene. Um, in this menu, we'll get to see how good this Groudon is, so hopefully we get a decent one. The best nature that we can get is Adamant. Um, I, again, I'm not going to be neutral, I'm just going to ask for... I'm not going to be, sorry, I'm not going to be greedy and ask for a neutral nature, I'll be happy with that. So 153 and 99 is the best possible uh, attack and speed stats without a boosting nature. Oh dear. Alright, here we go. Time to find out how good this thing is. Okay, so we're gonna switch and then we're gonna restore. Gonna rare candy. 141, 102. Okay. Uh, not good attack. It's minus attack plus special defense. Okay, so the good news is that we are 31 IVs in attack. Uh, what else am I doing here? Uh, Smackdown. But uh, that attack stat is quite worrying. And we're going to equip. Yeah, so one of the worst Groudons that we can get, but that's fine. This is still fine. Alright, it is now time for the Ice Puzzle. Uh, I'm going to save here, because if you stuff up the Ice Puzzle, it can cost multiple, multiple minutes, and I don't want to stuff up. So hopefully we don't do that. <laughs> okay, so if I do this correctly, we should be... We can skip all these trainers, but i just got to focus here for a bit.
Alright, we took that slow and steady, but we got there. Yes, I had to go the diagonal because I messed it up. I'm just like, wait, I can save it by going diagonally. And it made me look cool. <laughs> I did mess it up, but I saved it. Yeah, absolutely intentional for content. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to Swords Dance here once. Sweet Kiss, Miss, The Dream. So we have good speed, but bad attack. I've got to remember that, so I don't forget. Yeah, this fight is relatively straightforward with Groudon. We just set up one sword stance, which boosts your um, attack stage by two. So even if we have a minus um, attacking nature Groudon, which we do, it's still enough to defeat everybody. Alright, so that's Wallace down. The final gym leader has been defeated. Alright, so we get given the badge. We can now have Pokemon up to level 100, obey us. We also get given a red reward from a gym leader, a HM. Uh, we get Waterfall. And we can now go challenge the Pokemon League. So that's where we're going to head up. So already got the very equipped, which is quite good, so now all I need to do is teach Waterfall and fly off. Yes, he was. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, Waterfall. Get rid of Luster Purge. Uh, and then we want to fly to Route 126. So in this game is quite cool, you can actually fly to Routes um, instead of like flying to a major town. It's quite a nice improvement that they make. Ah, uh, oop, almost went the wrong way. Oh, that could have been bad. Okay, that's fine. Ah, oh, good. Alright, so, in this uh, PC, you'll see me do something a bit strange. I'm going to deposit Latios and deposit Cast Form, but keep Marsh Top um, and Groudon, and Marsh Top will stay fainted. Um, this is to skip two double battles in Victory Road, so this is quite a little cool thing that you can do. Uh, because I've only got one Pokemon that's uh, currently still alive, um, I can skip the two double battles by only having one. Uh, but I'll go over that when we actually get there, and we're off to Victory Road. that guy. Alright. So this trainer has Confuse Ray, um, which can be really, really annoying, but we have 
a Persenberry uh, equipped. Ideally, we just don't have to do anything, but we'll see what happens here. Uh, most of the fights here in the um, poke, uh, sorry, Victor Road are pretty pretty straightforward, but there can be a few trolley ones. Confused Ray, good. We got that berry, and it's gone. Good stuff. Oops, if we can, thank you. <laughs> Alright, this section is a little bit harder because it is dark. So we'll just focus here for a bit again. Nailed it. Alright. Alright, so we're going to Sword Stance on this hip on top, and then we're going to use Earthquake. Um, this fight again, pretty straightforward. Agility's fine. Endure there a little bit unlucky. Uh, please get up the ladder. All right. So yeah, the ladders in this game can be very, very precise. Like you have to absolutely be in the middle of a ladder for you to go up. It's a little bit annoying sometimes, but. I'm going to pick up this extra elixir. I don't think I will need to use it, but it is um, really, really handy to have just in case. Just in case. Make sure I go down the middle of this one. Oops, there we go. Alright, so here's that double battle, and we can just skip that because, as I said, only one Pokemon is currently... Uh, not fainted, so we can just skip that double battle there, and there is another one also at the end of the victory road, which is quite nice to have. So yeah, we're going to be using Swords Dance a fair bit, so... Swords Dance is a very, very handy move. It increases your attack stage by two. So even though we have bad attack, um, it's still a very good move. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. All right. Oh, that's an awkward spot. Okay, that's fine. And here's the second double battle that we can skip because we've only got one Pokemon. Beautiful. Alright. So, the next fight is someone that we've known from the very, very start of our journey. Uh, and it's not our rival. It is Wally, and he has got a massive upgrade on his theme for this, so get out your air guitars if you own one. Get out a real guitar, because this theme is banging. Here we go.
safeguard. Alright, good. Yeah, this theme is just really good. It's one of my favorites in the game. Like, they seriously gave him a proper upgrade in this game. <laughs> Smack down here to avoid the uh, sturdy text from Magneton. Give uh, Wally a Mega Glade in here, which is a pretty cool touch. But that is Wally down. And he gets upset that you beat him, but we helped him along his journey. And now it is time for the Elite Four. So if we have any donations or anything you want to say before we take them on, now's a perfect time because there's going to be some intense battles coming yeah. up. I, I, well, I was just looking at the donation total and we're currently at $951.21. Uh, that is painfully close to $1,000 and we still have about half an hour left in this run. So maybe we could try and see if we could hit uh, $1,000 before the end of the run. We do still have some uh, awesome incentives going on. We have the Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Choose your character, excluding Link, Ganondorf, and Mr. Game & Watch. Uh, war currently, it's uh, we've got Sonic on $10 and Marth on $15. And Air Memories of Old, play with cute sheep, because, you know, sheep are cute. We've got that goal open that is 100 out of $200. If you would like to get in on this exclamation mark, donate in the chat or go to donate.ozspeedruns.com and uh, specify in the comments what you want us to go to. Beautiful. Alright, we're about to take on the Elite Four. The first Elite Four member is Sydney, who specialises in dark times. And that's not Sydney from New South Wales, I'm sorry guys, but it's S-I-D-N-E-Y. <laughs> close enough, right? Close enough. Here we go. Alright, first Elite Four member. I actually think out of all the Elite Four member um, themes, I think that this game has the best. <laughs> this one and Black and White too are quite really good. Here we go, first members up. So we're gonna sword stance turn one. Swagger's good, okay. Now we want to X speed. And we're gonna heal off that confusion because we don't want to deal with that. And now we're gonna attack. And that is Sydney down. Easy. Nice fight. Um, also, before we started the Elite Four, I went to the PC to heal Groudon, and I also bought Marsh Top with me. Uh, Marsh Top is really just for safety in a marathon. Normally, you wouldn't bring him, but he is a nice little backup in case something goes wrong. One member down. 
Four to go. I had to think about that. <laughs> <What? laughs> Alright, good stuff. Alright, so that was relatively good fight. This fight here is very mean. So, Phoebe... Phoebe can really, really be bad. Um, so the Dustlops here has Curse. Ideally, we want it to use Confuse Ray. Um, it probably won't use it because it's very, very rare. Uh, but yeah, there is a ghost in the cutscene. If you guys can spot it, then you get one... Uh, I don't know, one cookie from the cookie jar. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but... Uh, Alright, so we're going to heal to full, and we're going to save for this fight, because this fight can be very mean. Let's go. I didn't equip the Persenberry, did I? Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. I should have done that before. Uh, we can still win it without it. So I guess we'll just wait and see what happens. Hmm? Alright. Yeah, Future Sight would be the best outcome here. Very rare, but that's the plan. That's fine, just get through confusion then, easy. Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna uh, wait and see what it does, okay. Alright, we're gonna go back up options here. Gordab is gonna take a rest. Go Marsh Top. Rather you attack me, please. Of course, I. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I really want you to hit me, please. And that's fine as well, I guess. This is not how the fight's meant to go, but hey, we're, uh. We're just. <laughs> we're doing backup strats on the fly here. Wow, it survived that. I'm impressed. Okay. It's gonna hurt, but that's okay. Alright, and that's Phoebe down. Not the way you meant to beat her, but it's going to be a win, so... So now we are going to menu, we're going to use a leper berry on Earthquake, we're going to equip the red orb. So this is the one and only battle you get to see Primal Grout on. Um, I will mention in Alpha Sapphire, if you're Kyogre, you do not need to Primal for anything, because uh, Kyogre is just that much better than Groudon, but for the mid game, Latios is better than Latias, and Mega Ruby is just more consistent overall than Alpha Sapphire. I feel. But definitely for the late game, Kyogre is better than Groudon. Alright, it is time for Primal Groudon. Who's excited? I'm gonna heal first. I'm gonna Leper Berry on Earthquake. 
and we're going to equip that red orb. All right, here we go. Sword Sense and X Speed. Alright, and that is Glacier Down. Very easy fight. <laughs> I will say Kyoga does have problems with this fight because of Wool Rain. It does no Sheer Cold, but we don't have that problem with Breton. So Sheer Cold is a move that can one hit you. Uh, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> With a great, uh, with a, with a, like a good co, um, not co, go grad on. It's a, it's a faster version also. I feel like if you're going for like the absolute god run, then Alpha Sapphire is going to be faster. But if you want to be better overall, I think Omega Ruby is going to be better. All right, now it's time to say goodbye to Primal Gradon. Thank you very much for your services. We're going to equip the Silk Scarf, and we're going to be teaching strength. over the blades. We'll save for this fight because we haven't saved in a while. Just in case. Should be fine though. Alright, this is Drake. Drake specializes in dragon types. Sense one Dragon Pulse. Okay. So it sense two. Cotton Guard, okay, that means we need to X speed. So it stands final time. That's I'm don't I'm 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 actually gonna heal. I'm actually gonna heal. I think it's the correct play. I don't wanna take a risk, so I'm gonna heal. Normally you wouldn't have to heal there and you just go in, but playing it safe.
Alright, and then strike down. Good stuff. So we got two fights to go. But uh, one is very long in between. So we're closing in. It's been a good Elite Four so far, actually. Very, very happy the way the Elite Four's gone. Alright, last but not least, the champion of the Pokemon League. Who's the champion gonna be, guys? Who do you think it is? Alright, before we go any further, I'm going to Hyper Potion, and I'm going to Elixir, because we grabbed it for backup, and we're going to save, just in case something pops up, and the champion is here. It is the guy that we met at about, I don't know, two and a half hours ago, Steven. Yeah, I know, right? Very dramatic. Alright, here we go. Okay, so we're going to Sword Sounds twice, that's once. Toxic's bad. Twice. I'm going to use Smackdown here. Then we're going to Full Restore, and then we're going to go in. Yeah, so if Marsh Top was alive there, uh, that Skarmory can use... Is it Raw? I can't remember. It's got a move that it can uh, stop you, basically. I think it's Raw. It's got something like that. So I'm glad that uh, Marsh Top took the L. Yeah, so we use Smackdown there on the Agron to avoid Sturdy Text. Um, I didn't really explain that. Kind of trying not to mess up this fight. Use Strength on this. Wait. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I'm meant to... Wait, hold on. Hello? Uh... Oh, I've got bad attack, so I should have gone. Okay, that's fine. I was actually meant to strength that. It was just because we had bad attack. Light screen. Mmm, okay, this is dicey. I think we should be fine. I'm a little bit concerned now, actually. We're at plus six, though. Okay, we're fine. What was the quote? I'm interested. Alright, and Steven's ace is a meta, mega, mega gross. Oh my gosh. And that is Steven down. But, uh, but wait, there's more. Alright, so we've finally become the Pokemon Champion. And then your rival comes in. Oh, I didn't expect you to become the champion. And 
we get inducted into the Hall of Fame. There's still one more fight to go, and that's probably another 10 minutes away. So if you've got any donations or anything you want to say, now's a perfect time where we're going through the next, you know, 9 or 10 minutes of nothing, pretty much. Uh, once again, we are dangerously getting close to the $1,000 mark. If we could hit that today, you know, especially before the end of the run, there's about 20 minutes left in the run. Uh, that would be awesome. But we are all speedruns, a group doing speedrun events to raise money for charity. For this event, we're raising money for Cure Cancer, a charity which funds early career ca cancer researchers who are working across all cancers and all areas of cancer research. If you'd like to donate, you can either type exclamation mark and donate in the chat. We'll link that pop up that pops up. Or if you just want to type that into your browser, it's donate.ozspeedruns.com. We also have a couple of awesome incentives. Uh, sorry, a couple of bid wars that are still... No, a bid war and an incentive, sorry. We have uh, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Choose a character excluding Link, Ganondorf, and Mr. Game & Watch. Uh, Sonic is currently at $10, and Marth is leading at $15. And we've got Air Memories of Old. Play with cute sheep, because we love the sheep. And uh, that is 100... That's halfway there, 100 out of $200. Perfect, thank you very much for that. So now that we're inducted to the Hall of Fame, your rival's just like, oh, we set out on this journey together, right? Maybe we should finish it too, and we decide to do that. But he doesn't want you to read anything into it. <laughs> Make of that what you wish. And now he tells us to go home. Back to Little Root Town, where we started off the journey, and now we get about, I'd say, nine or ten minutes of credits where it goes over the run and what Pokemon we use for every battle. I think these credits are fantastic, so I hope you guys enjoy it too. But um, yeah, it shows what Pokemon you beat with every gym leader and at major points in the run. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's one more fight left though, so stick around for that one. But yeah, these so credits... it's going to show us. It's going to show off the three Pokemon that we've used throughout the run. <laughs> yes, pretty much. Um, yeah. But yeah, while we're uh, not much uh, doing in this, I'd just like to thank PAX and Oz Speedruns again for having me. This has been a, a pleasure and an honour to do it, so thanks again for having me. Uh, if you're interested in Pokemon Speedruns, uh, you can message me directly, or you can check out speedrun.com. Uh, we've got a 3DS Discord. Uh, this game is relatively nice for beginners to pick up. I won't say it's the best game, because uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Manipulous is the best game, but uh, this is still a good game to pick up. Um, other than that, I don't really have anything to say in these credits other than thank you very much for having me. And we still got one more fight, and we can lose that fight, so stick around for that. And stick around for the rest of the marathon, guys. Lots of uh, good runs coming up. So yeah, if you have any questions for me or anything you want to say, now's a great time. I know you just uh, did donations and stuff, but... Uh, apart from apart from this game, are there, are there any other Pokemon games that you run? Or any other non-Pokemon games that you run? Sure, yeah. I run, um, I've run Heart Gold uh, and White 2 a fair bit. Uh, so Ooh, Heart, Go cool. Heart Gold is um, definitely my, my home. Heart Gold, Soul Silver. That's definitely my favorite game to play. Uh, I've branched out to other games such as Mario Golf. I was fortunate enough to run that at ASM earlier this year. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I've run Kirby games. I've run Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, the greatest game. Um, you guys are going to love ASM next year, though, because uh, one of my good friends is going to run uh, Mascot Manor, the best GS game. We won't. I won't spoil anything else. <laughs> uh, but yeah, now nah, I, I run quite a few games, so... Not just a one-trick pony anymore, but uh, definitely Pokemon is my strong suit. Not only does he catch them all, he's also a professional golfer. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, as we see, that Master Top beat Watson and the Magneton. Like, these are pretty cool credits as well. Actually, I'm not going to lie, these credits are really good. Yeah. 
Like, if you don't think about it, you just think you're just looking at your Pokemon, just looking at random Pokemon. Yeah, it's a nice little touch they add to these credits. Yeah, review of the whole journey. It's... Yeah, the run overall, I made a few errors here and there, but uh, and a few marathon luck moments, but overall, not too bad. <laughs> some some classic JT moments in there, but it wouldn't be a JT run without those classic JT moments. <laughs> the game, the, the game decided to throw in a few fun moments for us as well. Yeah, it definitely threw us uh, a few curveballs. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely kept things entertaining and fun at every turn. <laughs> Yeah, I still apologise for that uh, headphone warning hitting that spinner who wasn't even looking at me. <laughs> oh dear, that's definitely the highlight. And Gord Dab instead of Gordon. That's uh, going down in the history books, I reckon. <laughs> I was uh, I, I was looking to see if we had any donations, and all of a sudden I just hear you screaming in my ears. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Gord Dab too. That was beautiful. Gord Dab uh... was great. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. I, I certainly had fun showing it off. So thanks again for letting me show it off. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, you're still going with your run, so... Mm -hmm. Still got one more fight to go, guys. Stay tuned. Yeah, the beautiful double battle where Mars Top did, did its work. We're closing on the end of these beautiful credits, and we're about to fight the final fight. Yeah, really like these credits. Yes, my cat Marie is here with me. Finally, you had a camera and then you could show off your cat. Yeah. I, I think that's uh, time for a cat cam. <laughs> problem, uh, I, we've had this discussion on my stream. The problem with my cat cam is she's already left the room now, so it would last like two seconds. <laughs> get like a little robot you can drive around <laughs> yeah great idea all right so this is the pond where we first battled the rival and our rival wants to test our strength for the final time here we go oops drop my stylus all right wants to battle one more time i can't do anything to skip this cutscene by the way Here we go. Final fight. Let's do it. All 
Alright, so he's going to send out Swallow. We're going to destroy the Swallow with Gordab. Gordab's final appearance. And then we're going to set up some Sword Stance on... Wow, it survived that. That is extremely rare. But that's fine. Um, okay. So, and then, uh... Waylord's going to come out. And we have to set up some Sword Stances here. There's one. Sword Stance again. Two. We really want it to make make sure that we've got enough attack here. So we're gonna Swords Dance again here. Okay, it's using Surf. Nice crit. I'm gonna use Swords Dance one more time. Oh my gosh, we lost to the final rival fight! Can you guys believe it? We've lost! Oh my goodness! You know what? I can't believe that. Alright, for those that don't know, it is intentional that we lose it. It is quicker to lose the fight than win it. That's why we did that. And that is time right there, by the way, also. And Brandon just says, I can't believe... Look at what it says after, after he's won. Thanks, that's just what I expect from a champion. Yep, throwing a loss. <laughs> what a way to win the run. Wow, I just... that, was, <laughs> that was a beautiful three and a half hours. Oh dear. Yeah, I think, that. I think someone's a sole winner. <laughs> yep. Well, thank you very much for that amazing Pokemon run there, JT. Uh, if you want to give any more final comments before we go off no other than thanks again for having me I really enjoyed showing it off hope that you guys enjoyed the run uh, that was a lot of fun um, thanks again and yeah that's it thank you very much awesome thank you very much for running